Every week, Master Chef Konstantin Druzhinin gathers the most interesting recipes from all the regions of Kazakhstan for you in the culinary tour program. He finds the best food products in different areas of this amazing country. He cooks unique dishes filled with a rich history, national color, and a fragrance of the vast steppe. Watch the Culinary Tour educational and entertaining cooking show on Kazakh TV Weekly. Watch in today's Culinary Tour program. Baking trout with vegetables and eggplants with cheese. A special recipe for rainbow trout cooked in a gridiron. I'm in the south of Kazakhstan in the town of Sariagash, famous health resort of Kazakhstan. The town lies quite near the border between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Once it was the area of Sirdarya military province. Sari Agach village was founded here in the early 20th century. It expanded gradually and achieved the status as a town. Sari Agach was officially renamed Sari Agach in 1997. This area is renowned for the mineral water and health resorts built here. In addition, Sariagash is a large industrial and agricultural district. There are quartzsand and betonite clay reserves here. In the past, people said that Sariagash was a big market where you could buy everything you wanted. People came here to purchase Uzbek goods, which were in short supply in the Soviet times. A few wholesale markets were here in the 1990s and early 2000s. Traders came here from almost the whole country to buy goods. Entrepreneurs and farmers of the whole Saragash district go to the local markets to sell goods nowadays. Hello everyone, my name is Konstantin. I travel around Kazakhstan and collect unique recipes. Today I'm in the town of Suryagash, which lies in the south of Kazakhstan. This town is famous primarily for its mineral waters and resorts. This town has inspired me to catch fresh fish. I also decided to cook trout. To do it, I found a trout farm in the southern region. Now I'm going to bring a fishing rod. It wasn't easy to catch this trout. Well, I've caught some fish. I washed the fish properly in running water. Now I can gut it. What I like about trout is that you don't need to scale it. Так, надрезаем брюшко. И все потроха. Let's cut its stomach and gut it. We need fillet, so we need to remove the tail and head. Отрезать голову. These parts can be used to make delicious уха, but I'm putting them aside for a while. Так, убираем. Okay, I'm removing the fins. И 
сейчас нужно будет. Now I have to cut the fish lengthwise above the spine so that we could have the fillet. Выше позвоночника, так чтобы у нас получилась филейная часть. Аккуратно для этого. You should cut it carefully. Don't forget that you need a sharp knife to do it. We separate the meat of the other part from the spine too. Okay, this is the great filet which we're going to marinate now. Let's take a clean bowl. In general, trout is considered excellent fish of the salmonoids family. Its meat is very tender. There are various ways of cooking trout. You can fry, boil and bake it. The same refers to marinade. Tender trout meat very quickly absorbs juice, which is why you can marinate it in mayonnaise, sour cream, kefir, wine, lemon juice. There are a hundred of variants. Gourmets of the whole world agree that it's better to cook fresh trout. I have the same opinion, and it's the reason why I'm at the trout farm now. It's the place where you can catch fresh fish and then eat it. Now I'm going to marinate the trout. However, if you want the trout you cook to have a natural taste, or juice fish, so to speak, then I would advise not to salt just fish but cover it with water and add some salt there. In this case, the trout will be salted properly and the meat will remain tender. Of course, I need some garlic to make the marinade. We need to divide the garlic into cloves and peel them. Well, today we're using only fresh ingredients. You can press the garlic from above to crush it a bit and then mince it. Two cloves of garlic are enough. Okay, let's mince it a bit more. The smaller the pieces are, the better. Thanks to it, the garlic will provide its juice. Okay, we're adding the garlic. Now we can add a little wine into the marinade. I bought homemade apple wine. Two spoons are enough. We also need to add a little soy sauce. When buying soy sauce, pay attention to its content. It should be made from soy beans. Now we're adding a little sugar. I have lump sugar, which I use when traveling. It's suitable too. It'll absorb the liquid now. We can add a little salt too. Excellent. Now let's mix it a little so that all the pieces are covered with the marinade and the sugar dissolves. Twenty minutes are enough for the tender fillet of trout to marinate. Okay, we've mixed it properly. Now you can cover the trout fillet with a piece of foil to protect it from insects. Although it's late autumn now, insects don't hibernate yet. I'm putting it aside. While it's marinating, I'm going to make a fire. Okay. Now I'm going to make trout stuffed with vegetables. Let's start with the vegetables. I need an onion. Of course you can remove the upper onion scales. I'm slicing the onion very thinly. 
Don't forget that the rounds you're slicing the onion into will be inside the fish. You'll need to cook trout for 30 or 40 minutes. You can slice the onion thinly because it won't come to pieces but provide the juice. We also need a squash. We're slicing the squash thinly too. Pay attention to the fact that the vegetables I'm using are very juicy. He refers to the squash, tomato and onion. They contain a lot of juice which they will provide the rainbow trout with. Now a tomato. We're slicing it thinly too. All the vegetables are local. As usual, I'm lucky because I cook dishes appropriate to the season. It is the season of fresh fish and fresh vegetables now. Okay, the tomatoes are prepared too. Now let's take a lemon. You need to slice the lemon thinly too. You can divide the pieces into half rounds. To do it, you need to divide the rounds into halves. Everything is prepared. Okay, the ingredients are ready. I'm going to wrap the stuffed fish in foil. You need a lot of foil because trout meat is very tender and to prevent it from burning, it's better to wrap it into three layers of foil. Let's take our trout. It's been washed and gutted. Now you should salt it properly. We are salting the inside and outside parts of fish. We are rubbing it with salt so that the fish could absorb salt. We also need some oil to prevent it from burning. We need to pour the oil onto the foil sheet and grease it. Now let's put the vegetables here. I'm taking squash, tomato and onion pieces. The stuffing is inside. I'm going to put quite a lot of herbs on the top. I've got spinach. Okay, let's take some dill. And spring onion. You can add parsley too. As for me, I don't really like parsley, so I prefer dill. Now we should wrap this composition. I'm bending the edges. We're stuffing each fish in this way and then we'll take them to the fire. Trout and vegetables baked in foil. Gut the trout and wash them properly. Slice all the vegetables and lemon thinly. Rub the fish with salt and add spices. Stuff the fish with vegetables and herbs. Grease foil sheets with oil. Wrap the fish in a few foil sheets and cook in hot charcoal for about 25 minutes. Okay, the charcoal is already prepared. There should be a charcoal layer on the bottom and in this case, the heat will be provided from above and from the bottom. And now, oh, ouch, it's hot. Now we're putting the fish here. Oh. 
and one more. I've brought this kitchen tool which will be useful now. It's the best way to put the charcoal here. Excellent! I've covered the fish with a charcoal layer and now we should wait for 30 minutes until trout stuffed with vegetables is done. I don't want to waste time, so I'll make grilled trout meanwhile. To do it, I need to grease the gridiron with oil properly. So I'm saturating a napkin with sunflower oil and greasing the whole gridiron properly. Okay, now let's take the fillet pieces and put them into the gridiron. Let's close it so that it couldn't open. Rainbow trout cooked in gridiron. Wash and gut the fish and divide the fillet into separate parts. Mix finely chopped garlic, sugar, white wine, soy sauce and vegetable oil in a large bowl to prepare a marinade. Mix these ingredients properly, saturate the trout fillet with it completely and leave it to marinate for 20 minutes. Grease the gridiron with vegetable oil properly. Put the marinated fillet into it and fry the fish over medium heat until crust appears. Fry each side for 5 to 7 minutes. Finally, I want to make stuffed eggplant. I've got some cheese and an eggplant. You need to cut the eggplant lengthwise, but don't cut it completely so we have these segments like these. And it'll be easy to stuff it. Let's slice the cheese into pieces. Now we should put the cheese pieces inside the eggplant. Okay, in this way you'll have the eggplant stuffed with cheese. Now we're going to use some foil which we will grease with sunflower oil too to prevent the eggplant from sticking to it. Excellent! Now it should be salted properly. You can put salt between these segments too. Since we're cooking fish today, let's add a little lemon juice. Now we can wrap it. Excellent! The eggplant will cook quite quickly. After that, we'll just need to set the table and enjoy the delicious fish Saria Gash style. Eggplant baked with cheese. Slit an eggplant starting from the stem so that it is almost divided into segments which are joined on a side. Rub it with salt and any spices. Put pieces of cheese and tomato rounds between the segments and add lemon juice. Grease the eggplant and a foil sheet with vegetable oil and wrap the stuffed vegetable into the foil sheet. Cook in hot charcoal for 20 minutes. Rainbow trout and the side dish are delicious. To tell the truth, I see the southern region as an iridescent, warm and hospitable place. 
You certainly should come here, travel around Kazakhstan and cook together with me. Bon appétit!